fast, accurate with Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 11. And we begin with breaking news in South Bend tonight. South Bend's Common Council just passed a resolution approving an agreement with the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians. Now, the agreement would let the city share a portion of the money that the tribe raises from a casino they plan to build. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is live at the county city building tonight. And Patrick, this does not clear the way for a casino, though. Yeah, Rick, that decision would ultimately be made by the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs moving forward. All this resolution really does is show the city's support for whatever decision the tribe makes moving forward. But there are some people who say this is not the sort of thing the city should be supporting at all. It was another crowded room on the fourth floor of the county city building. This time, the council debated whether or not to approve an agreement with the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians. And it gives them the ability to move forward with the confidence of the city and it gives us an understanding of how we are going to receive revenue from their operation over the time that they would be in um, place. There's a very uh, good case to be made that uh, a casino like this would, would hurt our businesses downtown here, they would hurt uh, other restaurants and, and uh, entertainment facilities. You know, these casinos are designed to uh, get people in and keep them there. Opponents of the resolution argued that not only would a casino wind up hurting businesses in South Bend, but it would also create a variety of social problems. Those in favor of the resolution point to the fact that it would bring millions of dollars of revenue to the city of South Bend. They also point out that ultimately, the city doesn't have a lot of say as to whether or not a casino can or can't be built in the city of South Bend. That's all part of a federal process, which is very much out of our hands. What was in our hands was whether we could negotiate a way for the city to benefit. That's what this agreement does. Still, opponents argue that a casino would ultimately wind up taking more money away from South Bend. When you look at uh, different data points, um, you look at the fact that uh, for every dollar that a casino brings into a community, studies show that it takes out three. Uh, and different uh, infrastructure and social costs. This is something that we can work together to help benefit our city. Uh, we have seen where other cities in the state of Michigan have become stronger because of that. And I think that we too will profit because of those kind of situations. And like we said, any ultimate decision on whether or not a casino will be built here in South Bend will be made by the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs. And the city says that that agency has already decided to award the land back to the Pokagon Band as part of their ancestral homeland. And the city says that the tribe could ultimately decide to do whatever they want with that land, but this deal would ensure that at the very least, the city would see some degree of profit from that. Live at the County City Building in South Bend, Patrick Roth, WSBT.